Welcome everyone for a session three. Let's continue from where we left. The playing around Selenium ID. We primarily wrote two test cases. And we record of them. A little bit of. It is not hard for us to create our own test here. I had a new test in SDC for three. A free and got a skill that we remember. So here, let's type X. What is see here? ADD. That's with me. Voice breaking up a lot. Of Let me try switching. All right, I hope my audio improved team. If it um, uh, breaks up, let me know again. So we are changing. We are creating our own test right now. This time we will not do record and run. So before we go into this once again as a review, create a Selenium IDE test without record. So that's where a practice comes to. I'm not saying not yet master element identification. That will take us some time. Uh, but the fact that we can still play around with it and so on is very important. So what is the first typical command that we want to do? We want to open. That's the main thing. Now, after we open, it is not mandatory that I have to uh, maximize the screen. So anything that we feel that we may want to skip may not be necessary, we'll try and skip. But team here in the target, you have to give one forward slash because then it will go to qaonair.com, the main domain uh, to that main root folder. The second command here is for us to click a link. So I'll just say click and then the target is link text equals whatever the text is for that um, specific one. That in a year once, so we saying click link text equals see all freelancers. Here and see all freelancers. That's my and my third step is primary on even click on the item for that. So, in fact, I don't even believe click is me. So, you've come to the next page. This is the one that we want to identify. So, the way to identify team, you click and say inspect. And look at anything like an ID or name that may be unique. If it is unique, great, we could use it. If it is not, then we will talk about how to identify XPAR, uh, CSS, or other ways. But now I see there's something called ID equals to skills. So I'll just say click ID equals skills is lower case. I typically assume things to be case sensitive. That way, we don't have to, uh, you know, know if it's upper or lower. So always be disciplined on that. So I'm copying this step and pasting it, but this time instead of clicking, I'm going to type something into it. And what do I want to type into it? I want to type BDD. And once that is done. Uh, let's see how this test case works till there, right. team. So it's open. Okay. 
Why is it not able to see all freelancers? It's taking time. And whenever it takes time, that means that the automation is trying something it is unable to do. And look at how I'm progressing one step at a time. I'm not writing like, uh, you know, 20, 30 steps and then trying to test it. It's already stuck on step number two. I'm just waiting for it to see what it's going. The default timeout that Selenium ID gives us is 30 seconds. Team. It waits for 30 seconds and goes away. Now, what do you think is a problem here? Is this not exactly like what we saw for the other tests? So open set window size is the only difference. Link text isn't it the, exactly the same thing? Here and here. Is there any difference? There are spaces additional. Does that have anything to do with it? Do you think? Now it seems to have gone through that issue. And it clicked on ID skills and it also typed BDD. But after that, we did not enter the information that we want. And that is the send keys. He entered. So let's put that in. And team, the way we know, how do know we know which one to use as we keep you? Even if I show you or you keep practicing, it will come out to the same thing. So send keys and what we're sending is a value and that is keys underscore enter. I hope it's curl brackets. Whenever there's a question team, make sure you go back and look at what was dollar sign, key underscore enter, not keys. See? keys key underscore enter now i need to also say where my cursor has to be when i hit that enter key so i'll say it's id equals skills and i'm avoiding any spaces team because it is being strict and disciplined about leading and um, failing spaces are you all with me anyone question so far Let's be run this Kind of almost doing and these are more straighter be passing than um, what we saw during record and run record and run sometimes may capture additional steps that ensure that this test won't fail uh, but ideally even these five steps should be able to do the same why are we using type and send keys are in both uh, same action okay so Type and send keys. Once we get into web driver, you'll notice that it becomes send keys. So the only difference here is type command is typing one the whole thing, and send keys is also doing the similar thing out here. Let's look at from a documentation what it is saying. So type says the value of an input field as though you typed it in, correct? Uh, so one cat read it can also be used to set the value of combo boxes, check boxes. So like from a drop down list and so on. In these cases, value should be the value of the option selected, not the visible text. Sure. Chrome only. If a file path is given, it will be a so Now let's see send keys. Simulate key stroke events on the specified element. So as though you type the value key by key. And that is where here we're sending one key and that is key enter and it is also bound by the limitations of a real user like not being able to type into an invisible or read only elements correct 
So it is simulating the keystroke stream. It is trying to replicate what we do through our keyboard, more or less. Uh, once we go towards our web driver, you will see more both of these merging into one to send these. What was the other question? I see one more question. How do we get other values? What other values? How do we give values? Which values, please? Like what to type? I can give data or different strokes will look like Let's see what we have here. Control. So that's all tab keys, all of those things. Send key. And this is all related. Once we get driver, it's much easier for us. Key up, send key. And also, we take more look into any test data that you enter is always in the command. So it's to be changes to or uh, let us pop this for now and read this to there's something called acceptance testing that I saw. So here the only thing change testing here. I'm going to say acceptance. Skill. Now I have a few test cases. So let's run this one first. Voice is breaking again. Not sure if it is affecting it. How now? Any good internet? I can dial in as well, team, if my voice is breaking significantly. Just let me know, please, if it is uh, really uh, affecting, then I will definitely dial in. So, acceptance testing kind of work. I didn't see what it did, but it went through it. But the same thing, I had something it did not uh, have. I don't know how it be. Is how you could edit and run your test. Now, the intent or what I want next is take this same and show them how we can run it in Selenium web drivers using Java JUnit. So actually, did not have any issues by bending by sending some bad information because the data it collects it's kind of accepting whatever it does uh, so what else is important from a selenium id perspective the fact that you can play around a little bit more logs you do have options also like breakpoints for example if i right click and say toggle point and again, it will wait for that point for the test to the next step. I'm going to give you a couple of instructions for you to follow, right? So that way uh, you will start downloading and we'll be able to start using it right now. Mm -hmm. So now it's the breakpoint. ID is very sensitive, yes. Sensitive in the sense it's not a great tool that has uh, scaled up significantly. It's more of a beginning level automation. 
hopefully it's not used here, not in the real more of a learning side so here is where it stopped it's clicked on it and it stopped so i can resume it i can go step into it and so on if i just execute the test it's finally entered the value and come so that's about breakpoints also um Why does it always have to get the things in the new one? That's fine. F four of them. So at any point, I'm able to uh, open up any of the old projects also. So click open project. And let's say, what is it? Is it March? And I'm looking at the second one. There are only three test cases were there. They're all there. I can execute all of them. So you're primarily building a repository of directories where they're all side dot side format and uh, selling my they'll have cases. Let me see if I can notepad something see content. Uh, How it will look. Content pieces, but this is from this. This ID is being tricky. It's giving me other options also. Yes. So that's in a notepad format being on how the entire content that we are seeing on the Selenium ID is getting stored offline from us. And each test case, each step on what it has to do is uh, present in here. So what the question only is the order in which it's going, it's all the same order to which we Now, all this file stream, I'll keep putting it into our Google Drive folder so that way it's accessible. At this point, I need you to talk about a couple of things. So, if you notice now, team, test cases, if I had written uh, in manual testing, this is an important thing. Uh, the first one is. Yes. Manual is, let us say, taking X hours. Then automation, how long is it taking for us, team? Say, so because so many steps for each test case here, automation may be taking us, let us say, a little bit more. Let's give some specific value. Let us say it took us two hours, my test average per case automation is taking two and a half hours we're losing a little bit more time let it let's make it three hours are you with me now what is it from an efficiency standpoint automation release one automation takes three hours and so basically what happens release one no roi Release two, also no R1. From third release, automation will say how for each test case it is taking so long, right? And that is where it comes in terms of most importantly, execution. Now the same thing when we talk about manual and automation. Yes, it took me longer to create automation. Yes, but to run manually the same thing maybe it's taking me one hour. 
but to run automation, it is only taking me uh, a tenth of an hour. And that's a significant amount of saving. So where we saying all the effort that we are spending initially will pay back. And your ROI is return. Investment. Primarily, yes, it is efficient and reusable in the sense. Why is it reusable? I can make changes to it. I can repeat the same test over and over again without changes also. Accurate. Every time I'm expecting the same results to come in. Sometimes, oh, you know what? The click doesn't work or type doesn't work, send keys doesn't work. And it's a challenge. And hence, you may have to create more elaborate tests, more detailed, maybe wait statements, maybe more verifications before we keep proceeding through each step. That is where we will advance a lot, everyone. Okay, that's our effort. Now, what we saw is the Selenium ID. When we talk about Selenium web driver using Java to begin with, you will see ERA has a new level of achievement. We will achieve significant improvements. How can we do that? To do that, first and foremost, theme, you need to install JDK, install Eclipse, install Selenium. Okay, so this is going to be um, a little effort. Now, I'm not sure how many of you have a JDK or an Eclipse at your end, but if you're planning to practice, you need to do this. So for this team, I don't think we need to recreate something new. So all this, uh, what we're doing with uh, Java and all the instructions of getting started with download are here, please. So your basics of code Java, right from where to down Java development kit. The link is here, team. I'll show you quickly. And how do we download Eclipse? And working with it, I will show you from time to the There's a lot of content here that we'll start seeing from Java perspective. I'm going to add that here. Oh, Java. So, what you're looking at or for, you can come later, team. I'll show you by chum or same thing, but do it on Java. Get this onto your table and then by chum. I want you all to do both Java and the expertise will be on one, but you will experiment on both. So team, to install Java, you need to go to the latest from Oracle. Let's go to the website. You have your JDK download your team. Click on it. It'll be a large application that will get its automatic installation with uh, setting up the entire platform. Remember that at the end of it, we go to your command by command from and then say CMT command from. You should be able to in what version of I'm not able to master it right now. If any one of you want to take Java slowly, Java tutorials coming up as well. 
I think the So team, uh, make sure you have downloaded Java. That's the first step. The second step is your Eclipse platform. So Eclipse team, go to eclipse.org slash downloads. Team, is my voice breaking? that is not speaking also too much in between. Okay. Let me try and switch to a different network and see if this works, please. Who's the audio now? You see a steady thing. What I'll do if the audio doesn't improve for the next session, I will switch to my. Okay, with this network, it's better because I've been trying to switch around. Um, now, team, the second one is Eclipse ID. Eclipse ID, primarily in a very brief uh, thing, will help us. Write, maintain, run Java programs slash projects. And that's something that we will use um, regularly. Eclipse is a free ID. All of these are open source. So we should be pretty much comfortable with it. Uh, create an Axelinium web driver and browser. So now, where do we start with? The first thing that I will do is I'll create a new workspace. So this is the core Java training. So file, switch workspace, other, browse, select folder. And in here is what I will create. So what will happen? Okay, saving. So this is the old ones I'm saving. This is the new one. Meanwhile, okay. It's a community for the project. Everything in the project will be here. Please. So I just have to share this dead march. Then. It's restarting Eclipse for me, everyone, uh, with the new workspace. If you're all able to almost come to this position, then that's great as well. Let me quickly run one phone. So the, I'll actually run it in the next uh, five ten minutes. Let me let's break last break and then connect again in exactly ten minutes in twelve twenty two. Um, members are coming in slowly a little bit more for us. Uh, but what I want to do is make sure that what am I doing here? Ah, uh, the poll. Okay. Poll, I'll do it actually. Just wanted to see how many of you already have uh, this combination on your machine. So, team, what we are going to do is when we come back, I will start with a new uh, Java project and we'll start creating some Selenium web driver and also GM. So that's going to be um, the topics for the next session. I'll see you all back at 12.25 team.
in about 12 minutes from now then. Thank you, everyone. Sleep back.